How's it going everyone? Uh, today I wanted to do a review of the Senai Reef. Although it says Senai Reef, it's actually suitable for planty tanks as well. What this is, is a water monitoring device that checks the parameters of your tank and makes sure everything is balanced nicely. It will check temperature, ammonia, pH, water level, and it's also got a built-in light sensor which, which does Lux, Par and Kelvin. It's built in the UK by a dedicated group of guys that are very passionate about aquatics. The product itself costs £100, which is not a lot um, considering the, the, what you get with it. Um, I know the light sensor itself, many people I've seen online have been trying to make their own light sensors and that could run up to, to hundreds of pounds on its own and this is already built into this. It's 100% accurate. Um, you have to insert a pH slide. Uh, you get one with the pack itself, um, but to keep maintaining and checking the pH, you need to buy additional slides. Um, the slides themselves last 30 days, and I believe it's 18 pound for three slides, so that's three months worth, um, which isn't too bad at all. Um, everything else works on this device, even if you didn't want to use the pH slides, um, so you'll still get um, full functionality of everything else. The great thing with this product is that you can either connect it directly to your PC where all the data is uploaded every 30 minutes to a personalised uh, website for you. You can also connect it um, into a power socket using an adapter plug and you can also get a wireless router um, that you plug the Senai into and it will send the information wirelessly to your PC. The Senai itself I've got installed in this tank here. Um, I haven't plugged it in at the moment, I'm going to show you a, a closer look at that now. This is the device installed in my tank. It's made from a very durable plastic and it's fully watertight. On the front you've got some icons, you've got the power light, um, a little light that comes on when it's uh, testing water. You've got the temperature light, ammonia, pH, and this light here tells you when it's time to change the slide in your um, device itself. The slide actually goes in the back of the device and you need to soak it for 24 hours before you first use it. The slides are an additional item, so as I say, they need to be changed every 30 days. So. I believe it costs £18 for three slides, which is three months worth, which obviously is a, an additional cost, but I think it's well worth it. Um, you, there's no more getting out um, water testing kits. I mean, the, they vary from kit to kit, so they, they can be quite inaccurate, whereas this has got special lenses with a special coating developed by Senai so that you don't get any algae or scum build up on it and it's 100% accurate, it uses very special optics to um, read the actual slide itself. You can buy other additional items um, like a float which floats onto the surface so you can take a, a constant par reading from the top of your tank um, and again with Lux and Kelvin. You can move the device around in your tank holding it and take saving settings from different areas to see what how your lights are performing in your tank if there's something you should do um, sometimes you you might need a highlight for certain plants that you wanted to use at the bottom but your light might not be up to it well you can test your light to see whether it would be suitable or not and again everything is saved onto the website for you uh, which is dedicated to you you can buy extension leads for the USB cable um, the USB itself can either uh, plug directly into your PC and upload the data every 30 minutes. You can also plug it into um, a special socket that goes into the wall and you just plug your USB into it. A bit like the a lot of the, the modern mobile phones, uh, they have a special USB uh, plug. You can also get a wireless router. Um, which the device plugs into and it will send the data wirelessly to your PC 
and then upload it to the website. Um, there's there's many things. They've got lots of things available. I'm going to show you the website. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to point out on there, um, and I'm going to show you the Android application that that I've got on my phone, uh, which allows you to keep track when you're when you're away from home. When you first go to install your device, you'll need to download the Senai software. You just go through to the Senai website at senai.com, download the software and install it, and then you'll get this. This is a small desktop app that you just leave running, and it has the up-to-date um, settings. So my Ammonia is uh, 0 0.008, pH is at 8.2 which is my which is my uh, pH from the tap um, temperature 23.8 um, and this is the water level it tells me that the device is below water so it tracks that as well if, if the device starts being uncovered it will send a, a warning you can replace your slide under here uh, and enter your code but I'm not going to show you that because it's got my personal code underneath there you can update some info so download the mobile application and stuff that's coming soon and then you've got the light meter now the light meter itself is by far my favorite feature of the Senai device this is free mode so this is the um, the, the ratings in free so this is just the device just put into the tank stuck to the glass you can save this reading to your personalized website um, you can also take readings from the top the middle and the bottom of the tank um, and you can save it I'll show you an example on free so at the moment it's just stuck to the front of my tank and I'll click the save button and it will count down and it'll ask me what I want to call it. So, um, we'll just call it front glass. Now that will be uploaded to my personal site. You can then do the same for top, middle, and bottom. Just click the save, and it will save it to the site, as I said. You've got settings and device info, which I, again, I can't show you because there's personal information underneath there. So you just leave this running and what happens is the device sends all the data via this and then it's uploaded to your personal site. Something I wanted to show you on the Senai website is if you go under the Y tab, it gives you all the information about the, the all the perimeters that are monitored. But if you go all the way down to the bottom and click here, it tells you about the light sensor and why it's important and you can check each under each of the uh, options you got Kelvin um, and then you got Lux and then you got obviously par which is great for helping you get used to reading the results of your lights and to know if the light you've got is suitable I'm going to show you my personal page here this is all the information that's been uploaded from my computer. Uh, I had a problem with my um, my heater this morning, so my temperature dropped really low, and it sent me warning emails and text messages about that. So I've changed the heater over and got a different heater in there now, and it started to climb back up again, which is which is good. So a track pH, ammonia. You can see the. Uh, the light information here. It hasn't uploaded that test that I've done yet. Um, that will appear a bit later on. You can change your base settings for each of these options. So if you click the unlock button, you can drag the base setting. I want it at 23 as my base setting. And then again, you can you can change the maximum and it'll give you warnings it'll send you let's say emails and texts 
when that happens um, and you can do that with all of them so I'll lock that again you can do that with with pretty much all of these here um, you can see my slide is, needs to be replaced in 16 days so this is just the general overview so it detects whether it's night and day um, it's got a special feature built into it that uses special algorithms which tells you if it's working towards um, a problem so it, it follows the trends and patterns and like there it says caution in nine hours so it's telling me that the way that things are going it thinks it could go above or below um, certain readings so try and sort it out now basically and the same with the temperature because um, it's been following the trends and patterns it's saying that there could be a caution in two hours but I've resolved that by changing the heater I'm going to show you on the main website the, the mobile application you can download the mobile application uh, from the website uh, it will divert you through to um, like the, the Apple Store and uh, Android and you've got the Windows Mobile which is coming soon there's also the mobile website which you can go to from your phone if you look in the top corner now you'll see the application that's installed on my phone um, and you'll see some text messages and you'll also see um, some of the emails that I received just to give you an idea of what it sends out um, it's absolutely fantastic I can't speak highly enough of this device um, would I use this device all the time yes would I pay extra for more pH slides yes definitely uh, not having to use test kits is, an, is a bonus in itself could you use a device without the pH slide 100% yes you don't have to have the pH slide everything else works perfectly fine there's no limitation on it at all the extra money is literally just for being able to read your pH so I highly recommend this and for a hundred pound it's well worth it I hope you enjoy the review head over to senai.com and have a look for yourself there's the demo application on there so you can so you can search the website uh, and see settings that they've got with their tanks running thank you for watching everyone